My name is Frankie Flood, and I'm an associate professor at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, um, and where I teach jewelry and metalsmithing uh, courses. I make pizza cutters um, that I sell. I've sold them to a number of people um, all over uh, the country. And uh, Bravo has his uh, Top Chef show, and <clears throat> they're the guy by the name of Mike Isabella. And uh, Mike sent me an email one day, and he had a uh, he found a, an image of one of my pizza cutters online, and he'd had it tattooed on his forearm. And he sent it to me, and I was like, "Whoa, that's that's crazy that someone would take something that I designed, I created, and have it tattooed on their body." Like I thought that's, that's just that's bold, you know. And he said, "Will you design a pizza cutter for me based off the one that I you know had tattooed on my arm?" He had a few, the tattoo artists take a few kind of liberties with it. And so I said, yeah, I, I can do that. So these are some components for that pizza cutter that are not unfinished yet. But um, so there's a swing arm that has a, a shock connected to the swing arm and to the handle. And that's actually what suspends a wheel. So they actually, the pizza cutter has suspension. And so all of the, the cutters that I usually do, they have some sort of suspension device. So the swing arm's the pivot that's necessary. So we're going to machine that. Um, so we'll start that out. My dad kind of instilled in me that if, if there's a will, there's a way. And so if you're willing to research, then, then you can learn anything. And I, I try to teach my students that. It's like if you can research an idea or, or a thought that you have, uh, chances are there's a way that you'll be able to do what you want to do and achieve what you want to try to achieve if you just have the will to do that. So I taught myself how to, to CNC machine at a, a small scale. But then I started searching for like, how can I start to progress my skills? Because the equipment was getting to where I, I, I you know, I couldn't, I couldn't learn anymore with the smaller stuff. And so I started searching for a machine that was capable of doing the things I wanted to do and the things I wanted to learn. And uh, did a lot of research and looked and looked and looked. And finally I realized that there was this company, you know, called Tormach that was, you know, so close to me and it's a machine that's affordable and there's so much support and you know all the resources that you have that you've put out there that makes me feel very confident about buying the product you know as soon as I got it I think that summer I machined um, like 240 vent covers for this auditorium on campus and um, you know just like pumping out parts with it and it was like this was a huge confidence boost for me to be able to get the machine and put it to work straight away. And then um, later on, we, we actually um, used the machine to machine a medallion for our uh, chancellor for his inauguration. And, um, and then I've started to introduce the same techniques and stuff into my courses and really trying to promote um, making and discovery and learning through the process of making. And I think that's really, really important. The internet has really been where I've gone to to like find out information. And I can honestly say that with your videos that you've put out over the course of time that you've been in business, and um, with other users, other people who have purchased like your mill, it gives me more confidence to be able to, um, again, push my limits. Um, now I feel like I have the confidence to be able to like pursue learning new things to where I can actually, you know, start creating a pallet system where I can actually like have a plate that I bolt down and it's like I get repeatability because the machine is capable of that. Uh, and so I think that um, that instills confidence in me to be able to know that there's a, um, there are resources out there to be able to help me push what I'm capable of because the machine is already, it's there, it's, it's, it's built into it. And um, I've started to infuse the processes that um, I use in my own work, that I use to create my own work, into my class. And so we've, we've basically got a curriculum where I teach a course called Industrial Processes. And that beginning course is what, um, where we introduce students to manual machining. Um, from there, uh, uh, the second course that I've begun to teach is um, called uh, Digital Fabrication and Craft. And that's where we start to introduce the students to the CNC machining. They learn how to use a CNC router, CNC, the CNC uh, mill, the Tormach, uh, that we've actually acquired for our lab. 
and uh, then they also learn 3D printing, 3D scanning, and uh, in that course the students are actually building a 3D printer. Each student builds their own 3D printer, and we're actually using the Tormach to be able to machine some of the components, the, 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 the print bed uh, and uh, some of the other axes we use in the mill because we're really able to produce those components quicker than if we were to print those components. And again, it gives the students a, a, an understanding of how machines work, uh, how to program machines, and they use that knowledge that they learn in the creation of those parts to then later on be able to make other parts. And really that starts with having capable equipment. Uh, capable tools, and and that's that's why we, we made the purchase of the Tormach. I think that the I think the students are excited by uh, the potential of, of learning these new skills, and realizing that they can go out into the world and, you know, really um, realize their dreams through that.